Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be doing some collage journaling. I will be participating in the May challenge with the Journal with Purpose uh, Patreon, which just happens to be collage, one of my favorite uh, methods of art journaling. I've already picked out a few uh, elements that I think I want to use in this spread. And um, I will be using um, just a basic journal I picked up from Michael's Craft Store. Uh, I absolutely love this journal. It's been serving me quite well. So I hope you have a refreshing beverage and um, you just sit back and enjoy. Most of the elements that I'm using in today's spread are actually in my shop. These papers are from the Modern Vintage Paper Packs. Um, I just added them to the shop. They contain a variety of uh, papers and sizes and textures. There's matte paper, music paper, just lots of different pieces of beautiful paper. I decided to add a sticker doll at this point in the spread um, and in the shop 
In my shop, you'll also find a variety of sticker dolls. This particular doll that I'm going to use is from the uh, Japanese style a sticker doll set. I believe there are 20 dolls that come in a pack. You get quite a few. And even though these are fair skinned, I find that if I just use a, a marker, um, I can just darken uh, the skin tone. Um, I just like to just take a marker and go over the skin just a little bit and then dab it with my hand to adjust the color and that usually works out really really well. And now, of course, it's time to add some florals and a few other fun elements. These um, that I'm putting down now were actually gifted to me from one of my maker friends. So thank you, Stephanie. I think um, these are going to look really, really nice on this spread. I hadn't planned on adding purple to this spread, but you know how it is. You just start picking up pieces and... Um, Sometimes you're surprised how well things actually work together. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of text, just a faint um, silhouette of text all around the page, both pages actually. I just think it looks really, really nice when you have um, text as the background on your paper. Um, it just gives it this really nice antique look. And um, instead of the traditional black, I decided to try something different and I'm using a reddish orange ombre ink. And now I'm going to lay some washi down on the right side of the paper. This is where I'll actually be doing my writing, my actual journaling. You'll find both of these uh, washis in the shop. One is the vintage and the other, um, which I just added, is the uh, brown gingham. 
They're both really, really pretty and work really well together. And now I'll add a couple of words to the left side of the page. These are from the uh, Vintage Journaling Words set. And they normally don't come as a die cut the way you see them here. They will come on a sticker sheet. And you can choose them in a white mat or a clear mat. Hope you enjoyed today's video most of the elements i used in this spread you can find in my shop thefibertree.com i will return again soon with another video bye bye